Hello, I'm Ken Collins. Welcome to my video on rebuilding the Borg Warner T5 5 speed straight shift transmission. And this would be a good time to give just a short explanation on how the synchronizer does its job. All right, use your imagination and understand that when you're going down the road, this shaft is rotating along with the slider and the second gear, it's rotating too, but it's rotating at a slightly different speed. So if you wanted to make a second gear change, which, you know, is this slider going up into the gear, uh, it's going to have a clash. So we want to do something to reduce that or eliminate that. So if you look in here closely, you can see the blocking ring, which is resting on the um, uh, slider. As I lift up on the slider to create the second gear, you can see that the blocking ring is going up also. And as the blocking ring goes up into the gear, it's pushing that fiber-backed ring to the gear too. So as I put a little bit of tension on the slider and I go to turn the second gear, it's much harder to turn this second gear now. That's what we want. We want to create enough friction to force the second gear and the slider to rotate at the same speed and when this happens, and understand this is all happening in a fraction of a second when you make the one two gear change, then the slider can easily find its mark, go home and you have locked the second gear into place. That's why it's very important for the blocking ring to be in good shape, the fiber backing that's on the ring to be very in good shape to create that friction, the teeth on the blocking ring needs to be nice and sharp along with the dogs on the gear which remember this uh, gear did have some damage this is a new gear here and with the dogs having that rounded off teeth it makes the splines in the slider have a hard time finding its mark you might say you know like my fingers if I take my fingers and spread them out here like that it's easy for my fingers to find you know my other fingers you might say if I have my knuckles now, and now I'm having a hard time getting my knuckles to jam down in my fingers. That's probably a crude explanation, but that's why it's very important to make very close inspections of all these parts. And if there's any question about it, you really should replace them.